Join me to tour the over 100-year-old Unity Temple and UNESCO World Heritage Site in the heart of Oak Park, Illinois. Before I start, subscribe to my channel to get more videos just like this. On a Midwestern rainy fall day, I drove a short distance from my nearby home to tour one of the most significant contributions of celebrated architect Frank Lloyd Wright to his prairie-style architectural movement, the internationally renowned Unity Temple. The temple is one of eight Frank Lloyd Wright sites that together make up this UNESCO World Heritage Site, known as the 20th century architecture of Frank Lloyd Wright. Constructed impressively with unadorned poured cement in an effort to innovatively meet 1905 budget requirements, that's when the building began. It's a wonder to see both outside and in. I'm meeting with Heidi Ruley May, the Executive Director of the Unity Temple Restoration Foundation, to gain a better idea of the Unity Temple visitor experience. We start our tour in the Unity House, the social hub of the temple complex. I view the room and I see the model, which Heidi helps to explain. The right hand side would be the auditorium, it's also called the sanctuary houses the worship and it currently houses programming and concerts and dance performances and lectures. It's connected by our little salon and lobby into the Unity House, which is where we're standing right now. And this is the social side of the building. So here is where uh, the congregation will come after the social services to socialize. From here, we backtrack through the lobby and a corridor to be deposited into a warm-toned and harmonious geometric sanctuary that is a wonder to see. It turns out that I am lucky it is a cloudy and rainy day. On bright sunny days, due to all the skylights and stained glass, some of the colors of the sanctuary are harder to see and they pop better on cloudy days. Heidi explains to me the nature of the theater in the round construction as it encourages congregants to see each other, not just the pulpit, which also means there is not a bad seat in the house. She also explains how poured concrete was the material used for all exterior and interior elements. This construction innovation, one of the many reasons this structure is so unique, was born out of necessity. Wright's original design called for brick, but the budget could not accommodate the more expensive building materials. After we walk behind the pulpit, we continue up a level to gain more perspective. And Heidi points out more deliberate design elements, such as this vertical stained glass. Um, these windows will shine light right at the bottom at the top to help for visibility. Oh, I love that. That is actually very clever. As we climb and make our way through a low corridor, Heidi explains the design concept of compression and release, an element that Wright incorporates to evoke a sense of awe in this temple and other structures, such as his nearby home and studio. From the highest level, we get a commanding view of the room and its high windows, which Heidi explains, were positioned here to minimize noise and distraction from busy Lake Street, which the temple sits directly on. And from here, we head back down to take one more look at this impressive room before wrapping up my visit. If you would like to learn more about the Unity Temple and the different ways to explore it, Check out the notes I share in this video.